I love your smile. My name is Huggable. Hi, Huggable. Hello. This is Aurora. Are you feeling a little shy? <laughs> That's okay. What else are you going to do today? We have to go to a doctor's appointment. Oh, okay. We're asked to get blood work. Oh. Show them, show them where they take your blood from. You don't have to show them. <laughs> point it to it. Does that make it easier? The cool thing that we do in designing robots is that we start with an animated character. You end up with a big head, big eyes, things that make characters cute to humans. That character design also involves motions in a certain way that it moves. So the robot is from the beginning mechanically designed to move in a certain way. It has the capability to have capacitive sensing to tell when and how someone's touching it. It also has like swappable hands. The goal of that is eventually to be able to sense pressure. Touch your nose. As a way to indicate pain, you kind of like measure how hard they're squeezing the robot. Huggable's purpose of existence is to interact on an emotional level with children. Hey Huggable, how old are you? I'm only five. I knew it. I knew he was five. How did you know? You look about five. <laughs> Why are you blue? Everyone in my family is blue, except my Uncle Tony. Who is? He's orange. <laughs> Do you know any jokes? You know, I don't know any jokes. You want to hear one? I would love to. What do eggs do for fun? Hmm. What do eggs do for fun? I didn't think eggs had fun. They do karaoke. Oh my goodness! That is so funny! <laughs> I want one of those at home. The hospital, I think they do a great job. They had so many activities for us to do while we were here. But the huggable, the fact that a toy is helping you, it's, it's great for the kids. We developed a uh, Huggable app on the smart Android phone and then put it on the phone. And then phone goes into the face and then we cover it up with the uh, 3D plastic mask and cover everything up with fur. But because of the smartphone technology, we can actually put everything inside a small compact device. And it actually controls all the motors and detects all the sensor information. So that's how the robot became smaller and more mobile. You can actually put it right by the bedside. I saw that. <laughs> I have an idea. What? Would you like to play a game with me? Okay. I love to play I Spy. Do you want to go first? Okay. I spy with my little eye something that is blue. Me! No. Okay, I'm looking. <laughs> is it your dad's jeans? No. Guess again. Hmm. 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 This is tough. <laughs> Do you want us to give you a hint? It's somewhere over there. Over there? Laurel's shirt. Yes. Oh, yay! yay! About time. Woohoo! <laughs> I spy with my little eye. Something pink. Something pink. The heart on the hat. <gasps> oh my goodness. You are so good. <laughs> How did you guess that? I got skills. <laughs> Using social robotics in this environment, at first it was like, oh, how is this going to work? And um, the other thing was, are they going to replace us? <laughs> right. <laughs> and we learned very quickly that this is just one more tool that we can use to help children make this a less frightening experience. Hey, where 
Where'd you go? Take a boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs>